Can we control the weather? Should we even attempt to? These provocative questions serve as the cornerstone of today's discourse on weather modification and geoengineering. In the scientific realm, weather modification isn't new. Nations like China and the United States have been dabbling in techniques such as cloud seeding to enhance precipitation, combat water shortages, or manage agricultural demands. These methods, grounded in science, nonetheless spark concerns about their long-term effects and potential unintended consequences on ecosystems and weather patterns. Shift the lens to geoengineering, and the debate intensifies. The concept of solar radiation management, or SRM, has moved from the fringes to the forefront of scientific and policy conversations. The idea of injecting aerosols into the atmosphere to reflect sunlight and cool the Earth, or employing other techniques like sea salt cloud brightening or space-based sunshades, is gaining momentum. But with this momentum comes critique. Critics argue that such interventions carry unpredictable risks, potentially disrupting weather systems in ways detrimental to certain regions or global climatic balance. Ethical questions arise, too, probing whether humanity should interfere with natural systems on such a monumental scale. Interwoven with these scientific discussions is public perception and, unfortunately, misinformation. A segment of the public conflates regulated scientific research with unverified conspiracy theories, such as those concerning chemtrails. Such theories have been widely debunked by scientific communities, yet they persist, fueled by misinformation and a distrust of governmental and scientific institutions. As the dialogue on weather modification and geoengineering advances, fostering open, transparent discussions between scientists, policymakers and the public becomes increasingly essential. Addressing legitimate concerns, debunking myths, and providing clear, accessible information on the intentions, methods, and potential impacts of these technologies is crucial. In conclusion, the potential of weather modification and geoengineering in tackling climate challenges is undeniable. But their deployment requires caution, rigorous scientific validation, and a commitment to ethical considerations. The balance between technological advancement, ecological stewardship and public trust remains paramount as humanity seeks solutions. Remember, the power to shape our world's climate should never be wielded lightly.